Every year at this time, in the Navajo sheep country of Arizona, the flocks are ready to be sold. Whole tribal families, such as Blue Coyote and his wife and children, bring their herds into the nearest trading post area to wait for buyers. The goats are always a problem at selling time, and although the Indians try to separate them from the sheep, they always manage to outsmart the herders and get back into the flocks. This has been a dry year. These Indians know they must sell now if they're to make any profit. As they come in, the sheep are run through a narrow chute so they can be counted. This little fella's already counted his. Of course, some always spend their cash before they make it. You notice that in Navajo country, the whole family goes along on the business trips. Hey, Blue Coyote scouts the first buying prospect in the distance. On second glance, it's an old customer. He turns up here regular about this time of year with his mule and his two border collies. Rock here is the senior member of the team. Nick, now, he's the young'un. Got a hankering for the excitement and adventure along the trail. Fact is, man's never figured out anything to take the place of a good working sheepdog. First deal, being the first, always stirs up the most interest. From the older citizens down to this fellow with his traveling chipmunk. The buyer starts looking over the herd. And Nicky and Rock wait to see if there's gonna be a deal. The buyer offers a fair price. Five, 10, 15 cents a pound. No, 16 a pound. Appears to be a deadlock. Looks like the buyer isn't gonna meet that price. Wait, a nod from an old timer. Sold at 15. All right, let's get to work. Rock, Nick, in slow and ease out the goats. Bye, Nick. Steady on, Rock. As Rock works the goats out of the corral, Nick runs into a little trouble inside. A nanny goat isn't gonna budge, and a look around tells Nick why. Her twins have got separated. And Nick knows that all progress is gonna stop unless her kids are rounded up and get their dinner. is on the dogs, nobody notices that a certain chipmunk cage has come open, except the chipmunk. Way around, Nick. Bring him back.
Now the long, hard drive is about to begin. their profit on the sale. The buyer will only if he and his dogs get this herd to pasture and water. And there's a lot of dry country in between. They reach the halfway point long about supper time a couple days later. There isn't a lot of grub to go around, but they all share and share alike. journey, the thirsty herd steps up its pace, but the dry year has taken its toll. The few drops of water left in the trough only make them thirstier and a lot more restless. A ewe, hardly able to wet her tongue, returns to let her lamb have a few last drops. Five sheep catch the smell of distant water and stray off to find it. There's water all right, but there's danger there too. And Nick knows what that danger is. get to it. In this rough country, Rock and his master can't see hide nor hair of Nick and the strays. So all they can do is hope that he'll find them and bring them back. The main flock's got to be moved on right now, or they'll all make a break for the river. The treacherous currents pull at the crumbling sandy banks, drawing the thirsty sheep closer. up on a rock, all right, but she's liable to stay there till she dies if she's not led or driven off.
since there are no other sheep for her to follow, Nick knows that if he can get the front part moving, the back will follow her along. So he nudges her front feet off of the rock. water and they got it. But here they are in a boxed in canyon. Now, how to get out. The place is full of blind trails that lead nowhere. This one looked good, but it didn't pay out. Nope, another blind alley and a new problem. Here they are on a narrow ledge without sense enough to turn around or back up. Nick's gonna have to squeeze up front and get their heads turned around. Then they'll get going. And whenever one can squeeze through, the rest will follow, even if they have to go piggyback. by chance, he discovers a half-hidden cave-like trail that looks like it might furnish a way out, and it does. Once out of the canyon, they want to turn right around and go back. And Nick has to work fast to convince them that the way out is not down again, but up. As the daylight fades, Nick urges his little band up to a sheltered place for the night. In the morning, Nick finds a familiar river crossing that gives him his bearings and shows him the way to the high meadows. And here's the old footbridge where he and Rock and their master have brought so many sheep across. Only this time, his master isn't there to open the gate. Now the way is clear. This is a game of bluff, up to a point. Nick's system is not to let the skunk get set.
one barking dog generally brings a pack up, and no cat's going to wait around to see for sure. The sheep was almost half choked and plumb scared to death, but aside from that, she's all right, and Nick's not going to let her stop and think about it. He knows that lion's apt to come back soon as it finds out the only thing between him and those sheep is one little black dog. Hmm. Looks kind of sparse to be five. Yes, sir. That shook up one must have laid down somewhere to rest again. I guess there's no doubt they're glad to see Nick come back, bringing the runaway sheep with him. But there wasn't too much fuss kicked up about it. Fact is, that's just what they expected him to do. That's his job. And now as the herd moves on to new pastures, Nick is one of the old team again. Real content to be doing the job he was born for. Just being a good, hard-working sheepdog.